You know, talking about drugs on the subject of the medications we typically treat these animals with, I mean, there are some potential side effects. I mean, antibiotics to treat the chronic pyodermas, we worry about creating resistant organisms. Uh, you talk about the corticosteroids. Uh, you know, we have a, we're, we're making these dogs like basically Cushing symptoms and ultimately if, if, if overused and uh, used without a sort of a judicious approach, we worry about creating uh, an Addisonian. The ears, I mean, continually having owners go home and put the ear medication in and cleaning the ears out. I've seen dogs come in where the cleaning was actually worse than the ear infection in the first place. So, so it's, it's more than just the medication. It's what we worry about when we have these animals on medications for a while. Immunosuppressive agents, cyclosporine. I mean, that, that can cause other problems because of the immunosuppression. You know, there are some new drugs out there that we all know of. Uh, one is a phenomenal immunomodulator, but it still works well and it's that quick fix. And we want to provide that quick fix. We have that pet, that pet who's miserable and who's scratching, whose skin is raw. The owners are upset. So of course, we love using medications, anything we can to help these pets, but it's still a Band-Aid. It's a better Band-Aid, but it's still a Band-Aid. So though I, I, I recommend whatever we can do to relieve the discomfort, we still shouldn't stop trying to find the ultimate cause, the underlying issue here. And I think clients need to know that as well. That yes, we can make Bowser comfortable right now, but I still really want to find out what the problem is, what the root of the allergy is, and let's do a more specific, holistic approach to long-term therapy.